Hey, hello there everybody! Welcome back to Feed the Beast Ultimate here on Fad World. As you can see behind me, uh, yeah, this thing is uh, not keeping up with the production of cows that we got going on at the moment. So yeah, it's not actually spawning at full capacity because I think it can spawn up to 16 mobs per time, 12 to 16 I believe, but not 100% certain, but you, you see we can only get two now because it's producing way, way, way too much. And yeah, it shows because we have 342 buck 343 buckets of uh, pink slime. And it's going to be four in a minute here. There we go. So yeah, let me quickly turn this off and let the machine do its work. Whew. There we go. It's actually tier five now. It did what I wanted to do. Killed enough cows here to get it the soul shot up to tier five left the breeder running and i installed another uh, animal separator uh what's it animal baby separator yeah that pulls the adults from that side to this side so they get grinded down into pink slime as well and yeah 350 buckets it's crazy insane but like i said you do these projects and you do them right so you only have to do them once, right? <laughs> no upgrading required whatsoever. I do need to build a building around that. Oh, when I lied, my house is not ready yet. I ran out of marble. I need to do more, uh, get more marble. But yeah, up down here in my basement in the B lab, I did some stuff as well. I've rebuilt my apiaries. Um, we actually have tin bees, gold bees, and rubber bees producing here. This thing is now producing, <laughs> it's it's processing honeycomb blocks, so that's like seven at a time. I'm making rubber, because I want to get into the IC2 stuff. Uh, tin, because you also need tin for IC2. I have plenty of, uh, bloop. yeah, indeed, bloop. Uh, copper um, to get into the IC2 st stuff, but yeah, crazy stuff. I did upgrade my apiary, this one is still a tier two. This one is now a tier 3 apiary, and I think, yeah, look at that. The production can't even keep, the, the processing can't even keep up with the production here. Uh, crazy, crazy stuff. We're going to get tons of resources. Um, bees, definitely the way to go. OP, in my opinion. Also install, oh, also upgraded this with the emerald storage. Now we have max storage in here. We do need it. And I put in an apiary breeder in both of these. I'm actually, I was currently breeding bees here. Because, yeah, I'm on the mission to get all the bees. I want to finish all the bees. So, uh, as you can see, I've lined them up in this chest. Don't click on auto sort, Kara, because you're going to cry. Because it took quite a long time to get this... Uh, organized um as you can see in the list i'm up to volcanic volcanic bees and if you look up here volcanic so the next one would be the kitten bee and the kitten bee is bred by a tropical and a curious bee and we need some books books and flowers so let me quickly grab some books and flowers and i'll show you guys how that thing works and of course get the bees in there so yeah be right back guys all right, so I have all the stuff required to breed, 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 uh, kitten bees, kitty bees, kitten bee. Yeah, I, I want to breed a couple of these. I want to give one to Hitman. Hitman is, uh, he loves his bee, he loves his kittens. So yeah, we definitely need to breed a couple for Hitman. So the way this works now, you put in the bee with the target that you needed to breed with. Then you put in the other bee with the target that it needs to breed and you see the process bar running already and i have upgraded this with breed time upgrade i think i'm gonna do another one and get or maybe even four times the breed time upgrade so this goes faster because yeah I'm, I'm waiting here a lot at the moment and then we should see the bee coming up in there i haven't set this to extract yet i have this one i think i'm gonna close in my bees for now as you can see these have been in for a long long time I haven't been out for a while and I think I'm going to shut in the other two as well, because, yeah, we have, I think we have enough stuff to process. Let the centrifuge, centrifuge catch up for a little bit, and uh, 
Yeah, then we'll we'll see. Then we'll see. Uh, this is going. It's going. 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 I think the progress bar actually runs in the back here, behind the, the books and, and stuff like that. Because in a minute, we're going to see the progress appear here. Yep, there we go. And then we'll lose one of these MTB jars and in the storage. Should be a kitten bee. Look at that, look at that. Oh, baby kitten challenge completed. Nice, that is awesome. So, look at that. Isn't this awesome? Oh, look at that. So the designated flower for this bee is a bat. <laughs> look at that, isn't that just amazing? I like it, I like it. Very cool, very, very cool. So yeah, what do I want to work on today? Today, I want to work on upgrading my centrifuges i want to get these to the next tier uh, if we look into the resourceful b stuff we have here the elite centrifuge stuff um like maybe a week ago i was like no this is not this is not doable for me look at that we need like four blocks of netherite an elite centrifuge casing this one is easy we have all that and for the elite centrifuge casing, it's also netherite ingots. And yeah, I was like, nope, that isn't not doable for us. But since we have the ancient bees up there, which are producing quite a bunch of um, debris for us, um, I decided, yeah, there, we can definitely do this. We can definitely do this. Come on, man. It's uh, netherite blocks. Psh. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I want to build a beacon made out of uh, netherite. I think that's definitely within our reach now. Just need to grind this bee a little bit more and we'll have a netherite beacon in no time. But yeah, I'm going to get some stuff prepared, get some stuff crafted up. I think we'll move these bees. We'll take them out and we'll take them downstairs. Um, it will be it will be yeah all the bee puns here um this floor will be for processing and uh maybe a little bit of a living quarters for us because yeah having a bat just standing here no that is no longer done this will be all all for the bees i will build a third apiary maybe even a fourth in here and the goal is to go up to level four apiary but yeah we're still a ways off uh and have the um mutating bees all here so yeah we we can have all the all the stuff we can have all the stuff and once we get into the refined storage i can totally totally op automize all of this stuff but yeah that's still a ways to go anyways i will get some stuff crafted up and i will see you guys in a bit all right guys brought you guys back in to uh, show you guys some more of the crafting here and also some upgrades that I made here. Look at our power supply. Yeah, where are we getting power from? Solar panels. There's solar panels around here above us and uh, yeah, they, they are generating the power that we are using here. So that's pretty awesome. But I wanted to bring you by, back to uh, show you guys this stack of netherite ingots that's a stack four stacks of debris and four stacks of gold and that's just a stack of netherite ingots but yeah now we need to make blocks so we need to uh i need first i need these to have redstone on i have plenty of redstone on me um so let's make a bunch of these one two three four five six seven eight nine thirty thirty three maybe i think it's 34 blocks that we need in total um so let's do one more craft and i think i don't have enough yeah i need more netherite ingots so let's do that again one two three four let's craft another stack one two three four just because we can you know um let's where are my netherite ingots recipe yoink yoink 
Look, now we, have, now we have over a stack, and it's going to be gone in a second here. So let's do that. One, two, three, four. And now we should be able to make the Elite Centrifuge Controller, if we have Eyes of Ender, which we should somewhere in here. I'm pretty sure I had some left. Oh, it's only one. Ah, well. One, two, three. Let's just make sure that we have enough stuff. Why does... I think I need a new rodential input device here, because this one is bugged <laughs> from time to time. It doesn't do what I want to do anymore. So, Elite Centrifuge Controller. Yeah, mass production, baby! Yeah, here we go! So, let's go set this thing up. Um, I need to move some stuff around in the B-Base. Probably it's becoming dark again. Yeah, I need to, like I said, I need to move some stuff around in the B-Lab. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll bring you guys back in once we're done. All right, so I think it's time to build this thing. I've cleaned up one of my rooms up here. Uh, it looks hideous, but don't worry, that will be fixed very soon. Um, made some power arrangements here. And yeah, we're going to set up this thing. Ooh, ooh. That went fast, <laughs> a little too fast in my opinion. So we're going to set up this machine right here. Um, I think it was like this, four high, and then boop, 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 ah, we got it, we got it, like this, one down, and the controller needed to be here, hello, no GUI, what is... What did I derp? What did I derp? Didn't... Oh, boop. So, casing. Four high. Nothing there. Hmm. Book. Where's my book? Let's see. Centrifuge. Multi-block centrifuge. Three by four by three with the controller one in the center of any phase. 35 centrifuge casings. How much did we use? Is it maybe not hollow? So like this and then that. Yeah, it's oh look, look at that. We can upgrade. We can process up to nine, st uh, six stacks now. That is nice. That is nice. So now we need to hook this thing up to power, which should be easy. We're gonna do it like this. Set this to extract, and this should fill up now. And now we need to find our way down here. Whoop! Found it. <laughs> Found it. That wasn't easy. That was easy. Um, and yeah, we need to uh, move some stuff around here. So oh, oh, one up, one more. Dig a little, dig a little bit more, plants. Okay. Um, I think we're gonna go for universal pipe. Just going up. And let's disconnect like that. I want to I want to grab that little bit of stone because my my life not complete without it. <laughs> and I think we're gonna do some item piping up there. Let's have a quick peek. There we go, and let's run up. And set it up, uh, connect it up there as well. Then we should have auto processing to the max. Okay, so this is a little bit annoying, but we will make this work. I'm sure. Let's dig this out. That. 
Ooh, we fell. That wasn't supposed. That wasn't supposed to happen. I tell you. Um, so what I want to do is go up here. Okay, and we will move maybe this one over like that. It's it's all about the looks. It's all about the looks. If it doesn't look right, I don't want it. If it doesn't look right, it can be gone. I tell you. So it does keep on remember, or maybe it doesn't connect to this pipe. Hmm. Which is awesome. Which is awesome. Cable spaghetti. Cable spaghetti. Everybody likes the cable spaghetti. Okay. So now, um, item pipe for inserting stuff. This one is going to be for oh, <laughs> extracting stuff. Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. And again, we walk up the stair. For the how many times today? One too many, I tell you. So this one can go in here. This should be the insert. And I should be able to set this to extract mode now. Yep. What did I just, what happened? Okay, okay, it's filling up, it's filling up. Oh, this goes a lot quicker. But it also uses up a lot more power, I, t I can tell. It's holding. Yeah, it's, it's holding, it's holding the power. There will be more of these up here because, yeah, I want to set up a second one over there. But yeah, this is now processing nine rubber, ten, and yeah, we can set up up to six stacks to process in here. So let's connect this real quick as an output. More cable spaghetti. And now we should set it to extract. And there it goes. We finished it. Yeah, I'm going to do a quick break here. I'm, I'm being pinged on the telephone, so uh, I'll be right back. All right. Been trying to make the, the area where I built the, the centrifuge look a little bit better. It's not 100% to my liking, but it'll have to do. It'll, it'll have to do. You can already see a little bit down here. I've worked in some cyan terracotta in, in the walls. I like this color. Looks good. Fits good with this uh, with the centrifuge. The only thing I need to do now is quickly dig this out and replace this with some of these large planks so it looks all uniform in my, in my opinion <laughs> but yeah it's 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 my base i like it so yeah i'm happy with it and it's doing a very good job because it's already kept up with the golden honey blocks so we're almost through with those and once everything is processed back there again i'll fire up the bees for for some more doing for some more stuff i have some uh, extra blocks here that i need to process but yeah i think i'll probably run 10 bees a little longer think rubber we should be good 25 stacks um gold we can always use gold 10 b 10 is not very useful for a lot of stuff so um probably shut them down fire up the iron bees again and uh we'll see like like i said you can pretty much get anything with uh with bees here but yeah that will be it for this episode i hope you enjoyed took me a while to get here but i'm digging it i'm digging it love the way we are going here but yeah i hope you did enjoy as well like i said more to come here uh it's it's a never-ending project i have so many ideas that i want to do and we also have a spawn where we need to build stuff so 
think I won't be running out of ideas pretty soon. Anyways, if you did enjoy this video and you think it's worth of it, leave it a like, give me a comment, and if you have not already, subscribe for more Minecraft content here. And on that note, I will say thank you all for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.